hey friends welcome to the youtube channel all about electronics so in this question as you can see we have been given the transistor based circuit and here the breakdown voltage of the zener diode is equal to 5 volt moreover we have been given that the current gain beta of the transistor is equal to 99 and here we have been given that the base emitter voltage drop is negligible so here we have been asked to find the current through this 20 ohm resistor so here to find the current through this 20 ohm resistor first of all we should know that whether the zener diode is conducting or not so initially let us assume that this zener diode is in the on condition that means the voltage drop across this zener diode is equal to 5 volt so assuming this zener diode is in the on condition let us find the current through this 20 ohm resistor so as i said if the zener diode is in the on condition then the voltage drop across this zener diode will be equal to 5 volt now here since the voltage vb is negligible so this voltage will also appear across this 10 ohm resistor so we can say that the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor is also equal to 5 volt and here the current through this 10 ohm resistor is equal to ammeter current so we can say that this ammeter current i is equal to 5 volt divided by 10 ohm that is equal to 0.5 ampere or we can say that that is equal to 500 milliampere so if this zener diode is in the on condition then this ammeter current will be equal to 500 milliampere now here we have been given that this beta of the transistor is equal to 99 and we know that this base current ib is equal to ie divided by this beta plus 1 that means in this condition this base current ib will be equal to 500 milliampere divided by 100 that is equal to 5 milliampere that means if this zener diode is in the on condition then this base current ib will be equal to 5 milliampere so now with this assumption let us apply the kvl in this outer loop so before applying the kvl let's assume that the current through this 7 kilo ohm resistor is equal to i so this current i is the summation of this base current ib plus the current through the zener diode that is equal to iz because here this current i will get divided in the two branches so this current will be equal to the base current while this current which is going into the zener diode is equal to iz that means the current through this 7 kilo ohm resistor is the summation of this base current ib and the iz similarly the current through this 10 ohm resistor is equal to ammeter current so over here the current through this 20 ohm resistor will be equal to iz plus i so now once we know the current through the each element so now let us apply the kvl in this outer loop so if we apply the kvl then we can write this 25 that is equal to 7 kilo ohm times this ib plus iz plus 5 volt that is the voltage drop across this zener diode plus this 20 ohm times this iz plus i now here we know that this base current ib is equal to 5 milliampere while this ammeter current i is equal to 500 milliampere so if we put all these values then we can write this expression as 25 that is equal to this 7 kilo ohm times this 5 milliampere that is the base current plus this 7 kilo ohm times iz and further we can write this term as plus 5 volt plus 20 ohm times this 0.5 ampere that is the ammeter current i plus 20 ohm times iz so here this 7 kilo ohm times 5 milliampere is equal to 35 volt similarly this 20 ohm times 0.5 ampere is equal to 10 volt so if we simplify this expression then further we can write it as this 25 that is equal to this 35 plus 5 volt plus 10 volt plus 7 kilo ohm times iz plus 20 ohm times iz that means 
minus 25 that is equal to 7000 plus 20 times IZ or we can say that the current through the zener diode or IZ is equal to minus 25 divided by 7020 and if we calculate the value then it will come out as minus 3.56 milliampere. So here under this assumption we are getting the negative value of the zener current. But if the zener diode is in the on condition then the current through the zener diode should flow in this direction. But with that assumption here the current is flowing in the reverse direction. That means our assumption is not correct and we can say that this zener diode is in the off condition. So if the zener diode is in the off condition then this diode will act as a open circuit and in this condition the circuit analysis will become much simple. So now let us find the current through this 20 ohm resistor. So in this condition this current through the 7 kilo ohm resistor is same as the base current that is equal to IB and the current through this 10 ohm resistor is equal to the A meter current. So now if we apply the KVL in this loop then we can write this 25 that is equal to 7 kilo ohm times IB that is the voltage drop across this 7 kilo ohm resistor plus this 10 ohm times I that is the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor plus we also need to consider the voltage drop across this 20 ohm resistor. So here the current through the 20 ohm resistor is same as the emitter current. That means this drop is equal to 20 ohm times I. So we can say that this 25 is equal to 7 kilo ohm times IB plus 30 times I. And we know that this emitter current is equal to beta plus 1 times IB. And here the value of the beta is equal to 99. That means this emitter current I is equal to 100 times IB. So from this we can say that this 25 volt is equal to this 7000 times IB plus 30 times this 100 times IB. That means this 25 is equal to 10,000 times IB. Or we can say that this base current IB is equal to 2.5 milliampere. So once we know the value of the base current then we can easily find this emitter current because this emitter current is equal to 100 times IB. Therefore this emitter current will be equal to 250 milliampere. So from this we can say that the current through this 20 ohm resistor is also equal to 250 milliampere. And therefore for the given question the current through the 20 ohm resistor is equal to 250 milliampere.